What's going on, folks? You know, it's been a couple of days since we last talked, and I wanted you guys, I hope you guys have been focusing on the current developments. Many of you are anticipating great things, and that's where you need to be at this time. Honor, fam. So beautiful out here. The water seems to be rising, you know. The bank is overflowing a little bit. It'll get much higher soon. You know, but today I want to talk to you guys about a few things. And all of this stuff is relative to where we are right now. You know, narcissism is something I've talked about for a long time. And a lot of us chalk it up to just a couple of assholes on a bad day or something. Or the right time or the right day. And we go along to get along and, you know, we're part of the problem. And I kept trying to get you guys to focus on identifying these fucking devils and the people that we see out and about every day who plague us. Right. So many of you are on a walk, if you will. You're on a journey. Right. And you're halfway completed with this journey because there's a few more things that you need to understand about your egos and you have to shed a lot of this bullshit and nonsense that has kept you in this place all of this time and all of these generations folks and this is very important your egos you know a lot of people are narcissistic and i told you that in these last days when that day comes when that final day comes honor fam when that final day rolls itself on out a lot of you people are going to try to hide and you know all of these false good deeds that you've done in the name of your egos see that's why i kept talking about the ego trying to get you to focus on you know your hearts your reasoning you know doing something and and pretending you know that is for a certain reason get down here and walk pretending that it's for a certain reason but really it's about you satisfying your ego or making people believe something about you that that you really aren't and it's the problem with the world today because all of the leadership are a bunch of fucking devils folks you feel pain every single day right you suffer have anxieties and you know, worries every single day. And you watch certain people live their lives and twiddly D and twiddly do about and never have a problem. And these people seem to hold the reins of power, so you think, because you put your trust in these people on many different levels, you know? You know, so when I woke up today, I was standing outside and you know, I was about to go get my scraper and scrape the car because, and this stuff has really come up high. I was about to scrape my windows because I had a lot of ice and stuff all over the car, doors and everything. And I stood out for a minute and just, you know, stood out in this cool air and just looked at everything and thought a little bit. And within moments or minutes rather, you know, everything on the car, all of the ice melted off the car. And that was literally because the great sun was standing with me as I watched this car and watched everything melt off. And I saw like a circle of birds flying. I didn't see the birds, but these were huge birds because they kept flying in a circle around my car. And all I could see was their shadow in the sunlight. And I watched them go around and around in circles. And so I knew that it was time for me to come out and speak to you guys today. Because I want you to think about, you know, your walk, that walk I was talking about, your journey, and you're encountering all these different types of people, and some of these people are in your circles, and at this point, folks, you know, it's a crucial time for you to make some decisions. What are you going to accept from these devils, and what, you, what aren't you going to accept, right? Who are you listening to? And there's a lot of that going on where, you know, I was listening to social media and I 
I keep hearing this and I spoke about this before and I don't think I made myself clear about certain things. I told you guys about speaking on the heavens in a negative light or in a negative way. I don't appreciate that. And not just because of what I think, folks, because there's some truths that you don't understand, right? And you have free will to talk all of that shit, but there's free will in the universe for to bring some shit down on you for all of this, this mouthing that you're doing, right? If you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you need to keep quiet. I told you guys at this point, you need to be keeping your focus on the most high, meaning that right now, yes, preach your doctrines, right? What you have learned in your hearts and, and, and how you give praise to the most high. But you need to be focusing on him on a personal level where you're trying to connect to him on that level. It's not about taking shots at other groups or other people for what they're doing because they have to be judged just like you folks. You understand what I'm saying? So I listen to a lot of people point fingers all day about what somebody else isn't doing or this or that. And speaking of that, I keep hearing the name be mentioned about Shiva and Brahma and Vishnu. Vishnu is Shiva. He is Brahma, folks. He is the sun, moon, and the earth. I spend m many, many, many days and many nights with him, folks. Right? Just finished talking to him before I came out right and spent some time with him folks you don't know what the the sun or the moon looks like do you or mama earth you don't know what they look like do you you don't know them on a personal level so there's a whole lot of things that you're missing right now that you don't understand and because they're doing the sweep out because they are the muscle and because they serve the most high source creator of the universe vishnu then when the time comes, if you're not on board, folks, you know the rest and what I'm going to say. Not just making threats, folks, right? You're going to bear witness to a lot of truth. And I keep hearing this, and I told you guys to speak at your own, you know, if you if you want to if you want to take the challenge, then you you feel free to do so. You have all the free will and all the time in the world to explore these things, right? But what you should be doing and what you should have always been focused on since what I've been talking about is keeping your mind on the most high, right? Because you don't know the day nor the hour, folks, like a thief in the night. Every time I come out and do videos, I have people pull up. And it's getting to a point where, you know, I'm ready for war, right? And I spoke about a few things about when I see stuff on social media about all of these proclamations about going to the heavens and this transverse. And y'all know I talked about that a, a quite a bit. And I told you that the heavens did not appreciate all of this bullshit because they had declared war on all you fucking devils, right? And so you think it's a joke, right? Even though you're getting shit every day, even though you're getting the windstorms that I spoke on, right? And things are going to get much worse, right? And you've also coming down with that thing and now you're trying to spin it and make it like it's some new form of something. But we know what this is all about. I've already spoken to you guys about this, right? In previous videos. You're not going to find a cure for this thing because the Lord, the Lord has given you this, okay? And I gave you a way out. But, you know, now that I see that you're, you're still arrogant and you're still prideful and thinking that you have the answer for you know and and the, the the you can you can fix this on your own then you're going to suffer completely until you're destroyed folks because this is the end now you know who the fuck i'm talking to i'm talking to certain people i'm tired of the games and the nonsense and you know every day we put up with this shit from these narcissists they're like children folks they play games they play on your phone they do stupid shit meanwhile hurricanes are coming and they can't do a motherfucking thing about it Right. And that was the point of me talking about the muscle so much to make y'all understand. Right. None of these leaders can keep your ass from going into a hole when the ground opens up. None of these leaders can protect your ass from a solar blast or a thunderbolt that comes from the heavens at any given time. It can take any one of you out at any given time. And that's the fucking reality of it. And that's what rap is about. Right. You know. So I was looking at social media and then I heard them try to put something out and talk about what India saw when they when they did some moon uh, stuff or whatever. 
And I and I and once again, I keep telling you, I don't give a fuck where you are, cause all of you are getting it. I don't care where you are, right? The Lord is the Lord of the universe. He holds all the worlds, right? All the stars and all the suns and universes that you see, folks. He is those things, folks. He is them. Okay. So his power is unmatched anywhere. And when I come before you and I speak to you guys, I'm speaking with authority because I know who the muscle really is. I know who's the source of your lives and you don't understand it. Okay. So a lot of you are going to go along with this program on, on any level. Some of you say you're not going to do it, but really because you want to keep your jobs because you think that money's going to be around. You're going to try to hold on to some 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 token thing and watch it disappear before your ass. And your ass may go along with it if you're not getting right at the right time, which is now. OK. So you have people that are going to not want to hear what you're telling them. You may try to give people a message. You may try to speak to them about the most high and his authority. And, and you may try to point out all of these things that are taking place. Right. And I try to make you guys understand. That's why, you know, you're not going to listen and you're going to keep speaking out. And I'm trying to explain to you. I know who the most high is. I know him personally, folks. I know the chariots personally, folks. I know the angels in the heavens and the gods in the heavens personally, folks. OK, I asked them to accommodate me on a family on this walk today. Because I'm dealing with a lot of bullshit. I always got to have cars pulling up, people watching and shit. But I don't give a fuck because they're breathing air just like I am, right? At any given time, that air can be compromised for their punk asses. And they'll figure this out, right? Going along with this. I'm not, I'm not going to keep on trying to get you guys to understand something, right? Some of you think I'm ranting sometimes. Yes, I get a little upset because I get impatient, folks. And, and the reasons why I get impatient is because it's right in front of your faces. But then I realize that, you know, this is only meant for the best of you. There are a lot of you who are in the matrix and who will be done away with simply for your ignorance. And ignorance is no excuse. I've told you this many times. Right? You know? So you guys proclaim that Somehow you're going to do things in the heavens. And I told you that the heavens are off limits. As a matter of fact, there's a war going on in case you haven't noticed. Right. So there were some issuances I wanted to do, and I'm not going to do them yet because the Lord has not given me instructions to do so. But when I do, trust me, there are going to be a few things I'm going to say about a few things in a few places. Right. Because they're getting some things right now, but apparently they think they can weather the storm, <laughs> so to speak. And good luck with that shit, right? Right? A lot of you are on lockdown right now, and they're trying to figure out a few things. They got a lot of internal shit they're dealing with, like I said. And they're, they're racing against the clock, trying to figure out how to save themselves, as well as fucking get a clamp down on all, all the fools in the world. And those of you who have faith and know that Vishnu will deliver you because all of the things that you're getting, his hand is responsible for, folks. That's the point of me showing you the muscle. You talk shit, but all of you guys are just talking shit. The challenge is, 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 is right in front of your faces if you want to take the challenge. I'm not the person. I'm not the muscle, folks. I'm just giving you a message. But every time I cut on social media, I keep, the, keep hearing all of this shit about you know, fake gods and stuff like that. You guys don't know any of the gods. You don't know the chariots that the gods are paddling, folks. Yet you're talking about their fate. I'm trying to show you how you're going to undeliver yourselves from your own salvation. Just through your ignorance. I told you, ignorance is no excuse at this point. When I give you guys examples, I'm showing you the real power that you should fear, folks. Okay? I'm not going to keep going back and forth trying to give you education. A lot of this stuff is in doctrines and stuff. You can find these things, right? A lot of it is in recorded history. A lot of you guys have done well with putting all this shit together on technical levels, on material, basic, third dimensional levels. But you're not connecting your heart to these things, right? So when you talk about looking at the stars, you like to objectify them and look at them as just objects when they're being held by greater hands, folks. Right. 
The ball that you see in the sky that provides you the light is the light of the most high, flowing through the great sun. He is holding the sun, folks. Okay? He is holding it. Just like Mama Earth is holding this shaky ball you're in. And, and now it's time to sweep your asses out for the right reasons. Because I'm tired of this shit. You guys live in pain every fucking day. Right? And y'all want to get back to the pain. Y'all want to get back to a, a, a cold beer and a hot dog and a nice football game or something. Right? You guys want to get back to, to all of this stuff that these people have imposed on you. And it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I know. The worst of us are going to get out of here for those reasons because the greed, the pride, and the egos. Your egos is why you don't want to listen, even though you're seeing examples, folks. I'm looking at water that's, that's, that I literally can walk right to, right? The bank is, is literally neck and neck with the water. The water is right on level with the bank, folks. And it's still rising. Now, where you are, a lot worse may be happening, right? There may be houses and fucking buildings and cars going in the street. There may be ice storms and all of these things, right? And all of those things still stand. Because any time that the devils are going to try to do something, because the war has been declared on them, and they think somehow that they can whip the, the heaven's asses, then, then they're gonna they're gonna meet they're gonna get their chance to, to prove that every time that you step out to do something and harm a, a, a child of the Most High, someone that he has his finger on, you will be promptly stopped and you may be destroyed, depending on on, on what they want to do. Right? I'm not the muscle, but I'm telling you right now, you're gonna face serious serious hardships because why should you be able to go out here? And do evil or harm to people in a time of wrath. And I think you won't get busted in your fucking heads as well. And I'm talking to the devil. All of you can get it. Wrath is everyone can get it. Anyone who's not on board and giving praise to the most high source creator of the universe, Vishnu. Anyone who speaks against his name. Anyone who speaks against the heavens will taste the wrath of the heavens. Promptly. I'm, this is my last time issuing this warning Because next time I see it on social media If my eyes see you If I see you If I hear you say something Trust me you're going to be dealt with I don't give a fuck who you are Right Okay Now if you think you're Billy Badass Because a lot of you think you are Breathing this air and shit that's being provided to you If you think you're Billy Badass Go ahead and, and, and play Froggy and Leap And see what you get now I can keep talking to you to about this shit. Don't want to see anything else about what y'all are going to do because you're not doing shit in the heavens. None of your stuff will prosper. Any of your things, right? You got a problem with it? You can get a thunderbolt right now. You got a problem with it? Tell a thunder that you have a problem with something that's happening to you at this moment, right? Right? When you get something struck at this very moment, right? Y'all can timestamp this. When something gets struck very, at this very moment and y'all can look around and see where this is going to happen, right? Tell the thunder to stop what it's doing. Tell the, thunder, tell the great one to stop giving you thunder blasts. How about that? So I'm going to go finish my walk and, you know, and we'll pick this up. You know, like I said, it's been a long time since we've talked, folks, and... I had more of a lesson on my mind, but it's pretty cold out here and, you know, we'll get to some other things in a very short while. You know, I just had to come out and say that, you know, I'm not going to keep on speaking on this, honor fam, about all of this bullshit you guys are doing and all of this stuff that you're talking in time of wrath. You need to hold on to the most high. You need to be seeking salvation. And I'm trying to tell you something, folks. Because you don't know the heavens. You don't know the church. You don't know any of this stuff. This is the reason why I was trying to get y'all to listen to what I'm saying. And to make y'all understand what time it is. The new day is a day where we don't have money. The new day is a day where we don't have all of the pain and things and misery that has existed up to this point. That has created all the conditions where the stink has reached the heavens. Now Mama Earth has got the brim out. She's going to get the floor cleaned up. Right? Next video.